A popular hiking destination in the North Bay is getting a makeover. There is a plan to remove a dam in Tennessee Valley for safety reasons. But as our Kenny Choi tells us, there are now questions about what will happen to a threatened species in that area. Ecologist Terry Thomas searches for a small native amphibian that has made this pond its home on one side of the dam. On the other end, water gets released from this earthen dam built in the 60s by a private landowner for hunting and waterfowl. The stream snakes its way to the ocean. But the National Park Service says there are safety issues with flooding and even the possibility of a breach. The plan is to reshape the landscape and water flow by removing the dam and ultimately restore Tennessee Valley to its natural habitat. The pond's going to shrink because the water's going to go out from the dam and there'll be more of a connection between the water below the dam and this water above. Taking down the dam will impact the federally threatened California red-legged frog, made famous in a short story by Mark Twain and has made a comeback. The red-legged frogs are back at the cove and with them making a big effort to make sure they're sustainable in the valley. You have to walk upstream to understand how the National Park Service will minimize impact on the native frogs. Egg masses will be scooped and transferred to smaller ponds to be built nearby as part of the project. Thomas points to a potential site. And there's a break in it, and then it goes on the other side. You see that? Mm -hmm. That's an old dam. But there is pushback. Groups like the Marin Watershed Alliance are raising questions about herbicide use to remove invasive plants as part of the project. And so is the former mayor of Fairfax. Pesticides move. When it rains, it's going gonna, it's gonna to carry them off towards, towards the sea. And uh, uh, it, 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 there's no need to use, to use poison on, on public lands. But Thomas and the Marin Conservation League believe removing the dam will be a win for the frogs and the right path in continuing to restore the valley to its natural habitat. It's so gorgeous now. It's so just flourishing. And every time I walk, I see ground nesting birds that wouldn't have had covered a ground nest. So it's really been exciting. And, and of course, the aquatic species are part of that. Her focus is a decades long push by conservationists to transform a place of natural beauty to its older self. Thank you, Kenny. And Kenny tells us the project recently got through a major hurdle. The California Coastal Commission voted unanimously to endorse the Park Service's proposal.